What up, what up, YouTube? It's Blake the Matchbox, Blake the Spinal Form, Blake the Mike Spiegel, Blake the Mike Mugan, Blake the Hidden Flows, whatever you want to call me. As long as you put the Blake before it, bang. And today I'm back with another one. This is the mic I'm going to be using for the podcast coming up uh, on this channel. It's the Samson R21. Let me see. Yep, I'm right. The Samson R two one, and these I'm, it came in a pack of three. So, um, this is the mic that's going to be used on the podcast. Sounds very good. Sounds very clear. Very crisp. Clean signal. Like it. Like how it sounds. And it came with these little uh, shock mount things, so you can adjust the mic forward and back. So, yeah, that's pretty. It's, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Plus, you know me. I'm using the Mogami cable. Damn, there's fifty to sixty dollar cable right there. So, um, but yeah, just here today to talk about female jealousy. Um. <laughs> I was at the corner store. This is about a couple weeks ago. I was paying for my stuff, and it was a chick behind the counter. And a chick had passed. She was in another lane, and she had checked out her stuff, and she had walked past. And I couldn't stop looking at the ass. I'm like, God damn, she got a fat ass booty. And uh, the the chick behind the counter, she's like, Dang, you looking at her ass? What you mad because I ain't looking at jewels? That's what I was about to say. What the hell? You mad because I ain't looking at yours from behind? Females be getting jealous out here, yo. They be getting jealous, yo, like a motherfucker. You know, it is what it is. They get jealous for no fucking reason. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You know, because, I mean, you think about it, you're in a store and there's all these different women in there. And then you got these nice looking ones and then you got these mud ducks. And it's like, oh, well, nobody, this guy's not looking at me. Why is he not looking at me? Because I don't have the fat ass like it. No, just I'm not paying attention to you, yo. You're not that. Uh, you don't catch my eye. Silly fool. But yeah, I mean, females, they just get so freaking jealous. You got guys to get jealous, yo. I never been a really type to get jealous. I really give a fuck less what the fuck you do. I could care less. Jealous for what, yo? What am I going to kill myself because you looking at another nigga? I'm going to look at other bitches. That's just what it is. I don't give a fuck. I really don't. I can say, ah, oh, Blake, your personality's fucked up on here now. Ah, oh, Blake, you're changing. Uh, well, this is me. Uh, I really don't care. <laughs> I'm to the point now. I'm going to stop holding back and being a nice guy, yo. Just cut the yard. Oh, yeah. Feeling good. I got this game turned up to uh, almost to the ten. Yeah, I mean, just you know. People get jealous, yo. You know, it's, it's, it's no reason to get jealous. There's no reason to. I really don't give a damn. I got bigger things to focus on any fucking way. I could care less about what the hell is going on. I got so much to do, yo. I got so much to write. I got so much to plan out. I got so much 
Um, so much to figure out, yo. I don't really have time to think about females, relationships, and all this shit. I don't really have time for it, to be honest. I don't. I don't have time for it no more, yo. Uh, I've got I've, I've got music videos to to shoot by myself, and uh, you know uh, I've got stuff to learn, yo. I don't have time for. I don't have time to play games anymore, yo. You know, it comes a point in time where a lot of motherfuckers just keep playing. But um, this is the time where I, c- I cannot play. I have to post every day. Or every day on YouTube, I have to get on here and post every single fucking day. As much as I can, you know, I've, I've skipped it. I've, I've jumped out a week. I haven't been on here, but I've got to really step it up. Posting every day, rapping every day, freestyling every day, doing reviews every day. Uh, different things every single day. Yo, I've got to use the best with my time that I have, you know. You want something good enough, you got to treat it like it's a nine to five. I got to treat this shit like it's a nine to five job. You know, you want to be on top of the YouTube shit? You got to treat it like a nine to five job. You can't be outside. You can't be chilling. You can't be on social media platforms talking bullshit and posting comments and and commenting back and, and talking to people shit. Man, you can't be going to the stores doing all the bullshit shopping. You can't be talking to friends. You can't be on the fucking phone chatting it up. Man, you've got to focus. You got to treat this shit like it's a nine to five. If you want to be big in this game and this in this YouTube and this music on this social media, you got to treat it like it's a job, yo. I mean, basically, that's where you got to treat it. You got to treat the shit like a job. If you don't, you're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. It, that's just it. You're not gonna get the subscribers up. You're not. You're not gonna get your views up. You've got to go in twenty four seven of the day, and you have to, you have to grind, 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 grind it out, yo. You know, I don't have time to be on social media. I don't have time to look at comments all the time. I don't have time to respond back. I don't have time to post shit for real. For real. I don't have time to chat on phones. I don't have time to chill out on the block 24-7. I don't have time to walk them back and forth to the corner store, even though that's one of my biggest habits. Uh, I don't have time to go to parties and smoke it up and drink it up. Man, I could do it right here on this channel while I'm doing some work, while I'm I'm trying to get these views up on my channel and talk some shit. Boom. You don't got to go nowhere. You don't got to go to the parties to do it. Got the party right here, yo. Crack a beer, smoke a blunt, and listen to your boy Blake. Chop it up. You got to be in the eye. You got to be in the people's eye every single day, every single day. Be in the eye, be in the eye, be in the eye, be in the eye. As soon as they get on YouTube in the morning, boom, who they see? Blake. Oh, there's Blake. He put another video out today this morning. Oh, there's Blake. He put another video out today this morning. Oh, there's Blake. He put another video out this morning. Once they see that, they see the consistency you, you keep posting, somebody's going to pay attention and somebody's going to keep opening in your stuff and keep listening to you, man. That's just what it is. That's just what it is, yo. Um, now as far as the rap shit, I've, 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 I got so much, uh, I got so many songs, man, done, but I haven't had a mix to master. I could have, I could really have a fucking mixtape out right now. Like I should have a mixtape out right now. Literally. Like if I wanted to, I could have a mixtape out right now and flood the game with songs, tracks, and probably shooting music videos. But, um, you know, this is how it is, yo. Uh, but I do have a song finished and it's getting mixed down and mastered. I got more beats coming, yo. Um, uh, more tracks coming. Be on the lookout. Just, just, just be ready. Um, it's going to drop pretty soon. I don't have a title for the name of this track. Um, it's all right.
And you know, just stay in focus, yo. Stay in fucking focus. That's what it's about. That's, that's what's key. Stay in focus. See, I like this, man. Cause stay in focus. Stay in focus. Stay. Stay in focus. Stay in focus. Stay in focus. Because it just picks up right here in front of. Me. Um. Staying focused, man, is 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 key. It's really key to um executing this game. It's, it's just staying focused, staying staying on your grind, keeping the consistency 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 up, um and uh, staying motivated, staying inspired, listening to other shit, and and and, and really staying inspired, um, keeping that grind going. That's what it's really about, yo. And uh, yeah, no, just keep going with it. And you know, that's me. So yeah, not much, man. Not much. Just talking shit. I might just t- title this talking shit. <laughs> that's all I be doing is talking shit for real, for real. I don't be doing too much here. But uh. Yeah, I'm about to probably hit my hit this little producer up. See see what's up with this track. Um you know, get my track. Um I got some other stuff, some other processes to do with this track before I release it. And um uh, yeah. I I'm gonna talk about some of that stuff on the channel. Um well, I guess I could talk about it. But yeah, I was just I was I was really just putting tracks out just to put tracks out. Like I was, I didn't get them copyrighted. I didn't get them, you know, to um I didn't get them registered under any um 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 I didn't get them registered under um any um district, you know, um you know. Um You know, I didn't I didn't get them registered or nothing like that, man. I didn't get them copyrighted, the lyrics copyrighted or nothing like that. I didn't get them registered under like uh BMI, ASCAP or anything like that or um you know, there's different platforms that, you know, PROs. Uh I think it's public um recording or let me see. I have wrote it down. I haven't really um God damn, I just dropped my fucking mic. That's a $300 mic. Oh, okay, it's PROs. Yep, PROs. Uh, Performance Rights Organization. You know, I was just, I was just putting out tracks, really. Um, I didn't, I didn't have my shit registered under any, um, PROs. Which, you know, you register your shit, you're gonna get those royalties once somebody uses your track or or um, they post they repost your track on some type of platform or um, a Netflix show, a movie, um, a commercial, um, uh, intro or something, uh, the YouTube channel. You're gonna get paid for that, so you gotta register your music under those PROs. Any of those PROs. Um, I got a couple right here. Um, let's see. It's ASCAP, BMI, CSAC. There's a couple more um, that do it. Um, so you get your royalties. You get you get your money. Um, for you know your mu- your your your, your music's uh, played and stuff. So yeah, dang. Man, I I didn't, I didn't screw this mic up, yo. <laughs> I'm about to send this thing back to the fucking store, yo. Real talk. Oh, but yeah, I was just I was just I was just posting music at first. I wasn't really worried about the business side of the game. And you gotta really, you really gotta study the business side of the, of the game. This any game you step into, man. Yes, clothing line. That's doing up opening up your own business, barber shop, fucking um, a shoe line, uh, a tea store, 
you got to really uh, a food truck, anything you want to do. If you want to sell fucking toilet paper, like if you want to, if, if you if you want to make your own toilet paper brand, you've got to really look into the business. Okay, um, how many Americans, how, how many people in America actually use toilet paper on a day to day basis? Okay, you add those numbers up, ooh, and you you know stuff like that, man. You got to really do your research, your your due diligence on the shit. And figure out like, okay, um, this many people in the world uses toilet paper. This many people need toilet paper. This many people don't have toilet paper. How can I get these to the people that don't have toilet paper? Oh, these people over here they need toilet paper, but they can't afford the toilet paper because they're homeless. And then if they're homeless, then maybe I can start something up. They can they can get the the toilet paper. Oh, the this toilet paper is too. It's not, um. You know, it's not, it's too stiff. You know, it's like paper fucking, I need to make it more softer. Um, I want I want my toilet paper to be, I want my toilet paper to go in the dark when people, if the lights go out and then they're in the bathroom taking a, you know, using the restroom, then the toilet paper glow up and then boom, they can see what they're doing. <laughs> you just got to make something crazy. Yeah, you know, that's what it's about. Yeah, it's just making something crazy. You know, whoever would have thought, like, glowing in the dark toilet paper, I'm pretty sure somebody already fucking came up with that idea. <laughs> Which it, will, it would not be a good idea to fucking wipe with that, like, glow in the dark toilet paper. You know what kind of stuff you have to put in there just to make it glow in the dark, and then you wipe it on yourself? Like, that's, uh, that's, that's most definitely cancer causing. But, um, yeah, yo, it's just crazy. You just really got to do your research. Anything you want to do, you just got to do your research on it. You know, this music game is, I mean, this this stuff is a business, yo. This music is a business. This YouTube right here, this, doing YouTube is a business. It's all a business, yo, because it all trickles down to money, making money. It's a business, and, and the business is based off money, yo. So um, it's not just all fun and fucking games like people think it is. Oh, I'm going to post today and just... No, bro, you, you got to know how to run a business right, man. You got to really do your research and how to attack the algorithm and shit like that, man. You really got to do your research on this game. Like any game you step into, you really got to do your research or you get ate up, man, in the fucking shark tank. That's just what it is, yo. So um, me, man, I just stay consistent. I stay level-headed. I do a lot of research. I stay, you know, focused. I really don't worry about the outside shit that's going on. Like, every day I'm hearing gunshots, plow, 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 plow. I'm not paying attention to the shit because I know that I'm focused on something bigger, something greater, something that's going to get me farther than where the fuck I'm at right now in this out of this hellhole. And I know inside myself that I got the talent I got the gift, God given, and um, I'm gonna get what I'm gonna get what I deserve, man. Because I've done good on this planet, yo. You know, I've got everybody has evil intentions, everybody has evil ways, everybody has evil shit that they've done. But um, for the most part, I feel like I've done more good than bad on this planet, and not plan it. <laughs> I've I've done more good than bad on this planet, and um, I feel like I'm gonna get what I deserve, yo. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a major breakthrough on some shit, and um, I just know it. I just feel it. I feel it in my soul. I feel it in my gut, yo. I'm I'm too good. I'm too talented. Don't mean to brag. Don't mean to be so confident. Don't mean to have the big ego or whatever. But I just I just know within myself that um uh, something great is coming for me, man. You know and as long as I just keep going, keep pushing, keep staying focused, something's gonna come out of this motherfucking thunderstorm, yo. It's got, it's gotta be a rainbow with a leprechaun with a pot of gold on the other end. It's gonna, I'm gonna be able to touch, yo. You know, at the end, yo. I just know it. If I just keep going and keep pushing at it, man, it's, it's gonna come. It's gonna show, eventually. So yeah, that's just how I feel, man. But uh, yo. It's Blake the Match Boss, Blake the Spider Form, Blake the Mike Spiegel, Blake the Mike Moogan, Blake the Hidden Flows, whatever you want to call me, as long as you put the Blake B for it. Bang. On to the next one, yo. I'm out. Peace.
One love.